We've got pre-algebra, what is this? 176, there we go. All right, our objective today is to solve equations. We might have to simplify expressions. Or, and hang on, simplify expressions. All right. Last night for homework, yes, Libby? Uh, I put out my notebook and I wrote in my house. And uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So you need to write down the numbers for the homework quiz, stick it to the cabinet back there. And then I guess uh, you need to get a. I'm sorry. In the cabinet right there. All right, here you go, Eve. All right. So, what questions do we have on the homework from last night? All right, Kara, what do you got? Um, 36 and 39. 36 and 39. Thirty-six looks like negative six times four minus z equals twenty. All right, what do we do here, guys? How do we begin? I'm going to distribute negative six to both things inside my parentheses. Negative six times four is what? Negative twenty-four. Negative twenty-four. Negative six times negative z is what? Six z. Positive 6z is equal to 20. I'm going to add 24 to both sides. And this is 0. So I get 6z is equal to 40, uh, 4, 44. Sorry. 44. Divide both sides by 6. Uh, 6 doesn't go into 44, but 6 goes into 42, right? 42. 7. With 2 over 6, now I need to simplify that to 7 and 1 over 3, right? That's my answer. Does that make sense, Kara? Yeah. Say what? Could you have it as a decimal? 0.333333? Yeah. Let's write it as a fraction. Yes, ma'am. Can you do number 3? Sure. Let me do number 39 for Kara. Any questions on 36? If you are ready to just get going, by all means, you just start going. We're doing all of these that are not the ones you did for homework last night. 39. We have negative 5 times d plus 3 minus 7. d is equal to 5. What's the first thing I do here? Distribute. Distribute. So I have negative 5d minus 15 minus 7d is equal to 5. All right. Before I can do anything, what do I need to do? Combine like terms. CLT. Combine like terms. Combine this. So I have negative 5 and negative 7. Combine to equal what? Negative 12. Does that make sense? Anybody who has questions? Okay. Minus 15 equals 5. I'm going to add 15, add 15, and I get negative 12d is equal to 20. Divide both sides by negative 12. d is equal to 12 goes into 20. Well, hang on. First of all, I ask myself, is my answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. Negative. My answer is going to be negative. 12 goes into 20 one time with... 8 over 20, 8 left over. So 8 over 20, what do I have? Divide by 4, divide by 4. Right? No, 2. 4 goes into 8 2 times. 4 goes into 20 5 times. Right? Yeah, that's right. Let's see. What number was that? 1 and... Oh, we have wrong, we have the wrong denominator, not 20. Uh, 12. So yeah, sorry, Kathleen, you're right. 1 point. Yeah. There we go. What was the answer for 42? 42 oh, is negative 4 and 1 fifth. All right, Gabe, you want number 3? Yes. Anybody need to write this down still? No. 
I'm just trying not to move the video camera because the angle on the camera isn't great except for when I'm right here. All right, number three. We've got negative 8C plus C. There's a one out there in front of that. Just a one. It, it represents one C. So I have negative 8 and 1 combined to make what? Negative 7C. Seven. Negative seven That's up. Yes, ma'am. So whenever you see a variable, you think there's a 1 next to it? Yes, there's always a 1 next to it. You could do the number 18. Yep. Hold that thought, Samantha, or write it down so you don't forget. Number 18. Negative Z minus 10Z equals negative 3. All right. I have to combine like terms. There's a negative 1 right here. How many Z's do I have, Gabe? How many? Two Z's. I have 10 here. So I have negative 1 minus 10 is what? Nine. Try one more time. Negative 1, take 10 more away, gives me what? Negative 11. Negative 11. Hey, Mike, get to work or I'll find something else for you to do. I don't want to see you turned around. Get your book open or write down what I'm doing on the board. Something. Because what you're doing isn't what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, how do I solve for Z here, buddy? Negative 11. So first thing. Okay, so Z equals, is it going to be positive or negative? Positive. positive. And then can I do anything with 3 over 11? No, so it's just 3 over 11. Does that make sense? All right, be comfortable. These fractions are located on the number line. All of these numbers are located on the number line. They might not be up there as whole numbers or integers, but they're there. Are you sure? I'm sure. You positive? I'm sure. 3 over 11 is somewhere fairly, it's less than half, so it's a little closer to zero, but it's right here because it hasn't gotten to zero yet. All right, so I'm going to bring around cups. Okay, red, yellow, green. Have we done cups in here before? No. Okay, for each group, find something to do. You're thinking? Okay. I'm going to bring around cups. You stay on green. When you move to yellow, that means you're going to just move on. If you go to red, that means you cannot move on to anything. Don't sit there and go, Mrs. Rice, Mrs. Rice, Mrs. Rice, Mrs. Rice. I'll get to you. If you see I'm working with another group, I'll, I'll get to you eventually. Does that make sense? So it's for you or your partner at your desk. So we are going to work through all of these. Whenever, if you have a question, just let me know. Did Sophie not come in today? No. Nope. Where is she? Okay, you're not playing with the cups. You're not goofing around. What? There's for you or your person sitting next to you. You may ask the person sitting next to you. Before you ask me, I would like for you to ask the person sitting next to you. All the ones you didn't do last night. So basically, it's the first two columns because they're divided into three. So you did like the third column last night. All right, Isidore and Stephen. We are going to do page... 283, 284. Let me just move the camera over there. All right, so we've got 283 and 284, all of them except for the multiples of three that you did last night. Yeah. Just as high. And 43 through 48. So I'm just going to let this run because if we run into a problem, I'll discuss it and I don't want to have to do a couple videos for you. And then at the end of class, the last couple minutes of class, I'm going to go over 43 through 48. So, just so you know. So go ahead and just start working or fast forward to the end of the video and I will have gone over it. Yeah. Alright, you have something to work on, Eden? Yeah, I do. 
not crazy decimals. figure out how uh, 42 and 36. Mm -hmm. So I asked Will and he didn't know how to do it, so I do it.
Yes, how did you get your it's the same thing. Oh, because you have to come Because yeah. you can rearrange it and get that. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. Yeah, first. Together, but it, this is still negative. Okay. Does that make sense? 
I should have thought it was a negative because I don't have a negative seven. It is. It's minus. So five minus seven. Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. Yeah, no. So then I divide both sides by negative two. Negative two. two. And I'm going to have z is equal to two. So let's go back and let's make sure that this makes sense to you. So I have five times two minus seven times two equals negative four. Let's see if it works out. I've got ten minus fourteen. So is that true? Okay. So that's why. That's how you combine those like that. Okay. I hear conversation that is not mathematically related. Instead of, instead of like combining like two, you can come with the very so like actually solve it. So like you have like 32 minus 18. So instead of like actually subtracting with two, like add 18. Yes. Do you use the negative? Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> All right, in five minutes, we're going to go over 43 through 48. Whoa. That's interesting. Um, I have 26. Yeah, it's 14. Four. Oh my gosh, they have adopted Kenny. Look at that. You want to adopt Kenny? Chris Evie? Yes. Do you need to disappear to the office to get your work done? No. Okay. Mm. Control it. What do you do?
this one's more big. Well, you're going to subtract because you're going from left to right. So you have negative 5 or 5 minus 7. Yep. All right, another minute and then we're going to go over. whichever one you want. So we won't be doing this for homework? You'll be doing 43 through 48 in class right now. Oh, okay. So okay. Then you'll finish whatever for homework. Yeah. No, you're doing whatever you're doing back there. Okay. 
Hey, Mike. I'm here in the video. We're all special. Batman walks into math class and does his math work. No, I was on uh -huh. like these sound effects. Hoot, pow, zap, boom, dead. Bam. All good. Is this, is this minus two or negative two? Same thing. Opposite of two. Would this be oh. that you just negative to negative two to both things? Okay. Would this be negative one a? Negative a and positive one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you change the sign of everything in that set of parentheses. Well, like there's no. Here, there's a one. You can put a one there. You can go ahead and put a one right there. Okay. So times negative but one times how, a, negative one times negative one. Why would you put the one? to account for a, a digit, if you need a digit there. Okay. Um, so I would have um, uh -huh. positive child. I'm going to go ahead and work through this one really quick next to it to see what we've got. So we've got uh, 4p plus 8 minus 2 plus p minus 4p equals 0. Can you get that there, Sam? Um, Sam, only I problem is you got to combine like terms first. So I'm going to combine all my p's first. So I've got 4p, negative 4p, and 1p. 4p and negative 4p are going to cancel each other out and make 0, so I just have p. Positive 8 and negative 2 make positive 6 is equal to 0. Did we do that right? Did we I feel like I'm missing something. Sorry, this is positive 2p. Sorry. Yeah, positive 2p. Is that 45? The equation is... Four um, parentheses um, p plus two uh, minus uh, two. Oh, no. Bless your heart. Got it. Okay. Sorry, I was just distributing really quick, so I, I didn't put this. So here, after I distribute everything before I combine like terms, 
I've got 4p plus 8 minus 2 plus 2p minus 4p. I combine like terms. I combine all my p's and I get positive 4, positive 2, negative 4 makes positive 2. 8 and negative 2 make positive 6. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides and I get 2p is equal to negative 6. Divide both sides by 2 and p is equal to negative 3. What happened here? I have no idea. Oh, you know why? You needed to combine these right here. But this should have been 8, not 6. 4 times 2 is 8. It's okay. All right, any questions on these ones right here? Hope you guys on video can see that. So the answers are 30, 43, A equals 5. 44, C equals 3 and 1 third. 45, P equals negative 3. 46, B equals 8. Can I erase these? Yeah. All right. Let's go. We're going to... Pop 47 and 48. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Chris and Maggie have one. 47 and 48. What do we have? 47. Well, this is a big one. 47. 2 times y minus 5 plus 7 equals 4y plus 7 minus c. All right, Maggie, there you go. 48. All right, Chris, you're up. Negative 3 x plus 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 times x minus 1 plus 10. How about it, Chris? I don't know who you think's in charge in this library, but it's not you. <laughs> I don't know. You forgot who you're messing with here, buddy. Good job, Maggie. So here's 47 people in the video. All right, I'm going to come around and get the cup. Huh? They should be. I mean, you need to have it written down. I'll leave them up on the board, Will, and you can write it down when you get back. Well, this is right. Do we have to clean up that stuff? Uh, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I'm going to go over and work on it right now. I saw And then if I still need you guys, I'll let you know. Totally forgot. Yeah. 
Um, for 29, the anti backlog says two and a half. Negative 14. Negative 8. Minus 6. Negative 25. Her name. Her name. Um, 8 goes into 20. Two times. Oh, and for 8, I was thinking 20 was an 8. Oh, okay. Alright, let's pray. Come on. And then I'll leave them up there for you. No, nobody erase them. Let's pray. Oh, Chris, let's pray. You can finish that one up. Father and Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. In the name of the Father and Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. All right. I have no idea. I what? And it was like. All right, Chris. Let's work this one together. All right. We've got negative three x, negative six plus three, five x minus five plus ten. Let's combine like terms. Okay. Um, okay. Now let's move all of our x's over here and all of our numbers over there. Oh, you have to get them both on one side. Yeah. Should be negative one, Chris. Is it sure? Or, can you just rewrite it? Uh, uh, it's about right there by the seventh grade then. Whatever. I'm so blind. Oh, like you will. What do we have here, Chris? Do we have all of our negatives? I don't know. Oh, my goodness, child. Would you just figure out one side of the top? You would just balance it. So I'm going to. Add 3x, add 3x minus 5, minus 5, yeah. So this is 0, this is 0. Negative 8 is equal to 8x. Divide both sides by 8. x is equal to negative 1. 